God says I am. I am who God says, who God says I am. Let's go. I am who God says, who God says I am. I am who God says, who God says I am. I am who God says, who God says I am. I am who God says, who God says I am. Welcome to Covenant Kids TV. I'm Miss Michelle. If you guys were here with us last weekend, then you know we were talking about a prophet named Jeremiah. Do you guys remember what a prophet is? Back a long time ago, before Jesus came on the earth, God would send people to tell his message to the other people, and those people were called prophets. So Jeremiah was one of God's prophets, and God sent Jeremiah to Judah to tell the people of Judah to stop doing bad things. Today, we're gonna to learn about another message that Jeremiah had for Judah, and it was about a covenant, a new covenant that God was making. 
Do you guys know what a covenant is? A covenant is kind of like a deal that you make with someone or like an agreement. So a covenant has two parts. One person says, I will do this. And then the other person says, and I will do that. And we make a deal. Let's hear more about the story of Jeremiah and the new covenant from Miss Mason and Chipper. What's up, guys? What's we... up, everybody? <laughs> hey, we're so excited that you're watching Covenant Kids TV. Like uber stoked. So excited, but we have been talking, and I talked to some of you, and we realized that you might have some questions about Chipper. What? Like, wait, did I do something wrong? No, you didn't do anything wrong, and I know you don't like to answer questions about I'm yourself. A very rec I'm a very recluse squirrel. A little quiet, but Chipper, if I ask you some questions and you answer, I will help you do all of your chores later. Will you also buy me Ben and Jerry's ice cream? Yes, you can have some Ben and Jerry's ice cream and I'll help you with your chores if you answer these questions. Okay, I guess I have to oblige. Is it a deal? Deal. Okay. Okay, Kay. that was weird. I know, we're Kay. not very good at handshakes. I, I, my eyes aren't real, so. Yeah, we, we know. All right, so first question. Yep. What is your favorite color? Well, um, my favorite color is definitely green, but I work at the chocolate factory and everything's brown. So it's just really hard for a guy whose favorite color is green. That must be really hard, but I'm wearing it's green. It's a hard not life for us, me. That's tough. It's for me. But I love that your favorite color is green. I knew that about you. We talk about it all the time. All the time. But tell me, what is your favorite snack? Favorite snack would definitely have to be well, I don't, well, it's Peanut definitely probably butter. high Peanut bunches butter. of oats, because I'm a big, what a company, by the way? Peanut butter ice cream. Peanut butter ice cream, no, that's your favorite. That's your favorite, Miss Mason. This is about me. You're right, you're right, Let you're right. It be about so what me. is it, Chipper? Tell them, what's it's, your favorite snack? It's, it's cereal. Big fan of oat milk cereal. Okay, all right. Um, tell me what's your favorite TV show? You've been watching a lot of movies favorite recently. Favorite TV show. Well, it depends on if we're watching TV lands, because then it's definitely MASH. But if we're watching like my normal stuff, it's, it's, um, um, well, what is my favorite TV show? Paw Patrol. Paw Patrol. It's definitely Paw Patrol. I'm a big fan of that series. I think it has a lot of good arcs in the characters. Chipper, you watch a lot of TV. I can't believe you even were able to pick a favorite. It's okay. But can you tell me one more thing? Sure. What is your favorite story in the Bible? Favorite story in the Bible? Um, well, it's definitely about a guy named Jerry. That's your favorite story? It just, it seems to resonate with me. You just love the story of Jeremiah the prophet. Yep. Oh, I good old Jerry. love but wait, that wait. story too. Before you continue, can I ask you a question? Sure. Where in the Bible is the first car mentioned? Um, Chipper, there aren't any cars in the Bible. Wrong. What? Yeah. Okay, in the New Testament, after Jesus has gone up to heaven, it said that they were all in one accord. <laughs> Chipper, what? Why well, do you even know what that is? I have a side hustle as a, as a comedian. Okay, well that I do believe. But do you think we should tell the boys and girls more about Jeremiah? Let's do it, old Jerry. Let's do it. Let's talk about good old Jerry. You remember him, he's a prophet. God had a special plan for his life, knowing that the people were making bad choices, right? Oh, everything was so bad. So bad. And, and Jeremiah knew that he was gonna have to communicate what God wanted for them. Okay, so Jeremiah. Yep, good old Jerry. Good he freaked old out. Jerry. He loved to freak out. Ooh. Just like you. Ooh. That one is your favorite? Yeah. Who's I, my favorite? Jeremiah. Jerry. A oh, good old Jerry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you all both like to freak out. We freak out! Exactly. Okay, so basically, God made Jeremiah a prophet because he's going to communicate all of the things to his people through Jeremiah. That's right. But there's this big thing kind of standing in the way, and it's called a covenant. Um, I, I I'm so sorry to bother you, and I know we're I know that we have some kiddos watching today, but I just call it covenant because there's no I don't see an A. Do you see an A in front of the logo? No, it's a covenant, like covenant. But there's an old covenant and a new covenant. We're getting there, Chipper. But there's more than one church. Oh. 
No, now I'm not talking about Covenant Church or any of our Covenant kids. This is kind of why our church is called this. Oh, uh, uh, I will let you explain. Thank you. <laughs> My lips are sealed. I don't believe you. There was this covenant. You know, not like the church that we go to, but like- I'm just gonna assume I know what you're saying, but continue on. Okay, thanks for the assumption. So there's a covenant, and this is where we talk about the old covenant and a new covenant. But a covenant itself is a deal made between two groups of people. You've probably made a covenant before. It's a promise. If I do this and you're gonna do this, we've made a deal, we agree. It's like a pact, right? Right. Like a pinky promise. I'm gonna do this if you do this. Pinky promise. There it is. I couldn't oh, find more it. More or less. So God decided to make a covenant with his people. And let's just say the people were not holding up their end of the deal. They broke the promise? With God. <sighs> it was terrible. I would never do such a thing. It was awful. They were making all these terrible decisions, so much so that God told Jeremiah, we were gonna need to have a new covenant. So the old one is no more? It's divulged? Yeah, basically. We didn't need it anymore. We needed a new covenant, a better covenant. And honestly, that's where we find Jesus entering in our story. Wait, old Jerry met Jesus? No, he didn't mean Jesus, but God kind of set him up, got him ready for a new covenant that was going to include Jesus. The new covenant is not like the old covenant. The new covenant is where God is gonna forgive the sins of people, where they're gonna have the opportunity to pray and speak to him. And even whenever they do wrong, they'd still be able to talk to Jesus without having to make a sacrifice. It's pretty crazy, but the old covenant was going to be no more. They wouldn't have to do all of these other things that they were doing, and they get to have a relationship with Jesus. That's so cool. It is honestly so amazing because even today, we're still living in the new covenant. The new covenant. It's like building A and building B. <laughs> it's just like that. We get to go to covenant. We get to live in the new covenant and have a relationship with Jesus. That is awesome. Jerry did a great job describing the new covenant to his people. Oh, good old Jerry. Well done, Jerry. All right, well, I think that's it for today. Sweet. See ya. Thanks, Miss Mason and Chipper for telling us more about good old Jerry. See you guys next week. All right, so now it's time for our memory verse, Jeremiah 29, verse 11. For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. So say it with me, Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Hey, great job, you did it. So now give your neighbor a high five. Thank you so much for watching today. You've watched, you've listened, and you've learned, and now you get to go change the world.